Hello students, this is your fifth video of lesson 2. This video we are going to learn about large number division. Uh, division of large number by three digit number okay, and two digit number also. Some story sums also we can see from this video. First, from your book exercise, I will give one example for you. 1,49,826 1,49,826 divided by 68 okay this is dividend this is divisor you know already the previous class I have explained you this is dividend and divisor so first write dividend 1,49,000 sorry yeah, 826 divided by 68 divided by 68 okay this is your question see 68 68 two digit number so you have to take two digit here 14 this two digit you have to take okay if you are taking two digit number this is lesser than the divisor we can't divide so first okay when you are starting your division first if you are taking any number that number is not divisible by the divisor you can take one more number first okay if you are taking here here not divisible by the divisor you can take one more number but another procedure is there you have to add one zero over there that, that one i will explain first 68 14 we can't so one more number we can take 149 so table 68 we can write here table 68 right table 68 okay as i told explained already follow that method table 68 you can write then right uh, <clears throat> first 168 is 68, 268 is so, uh, 136. So, 268 is 136. Subtract. 6 minus 9, 3, 4 minus 3, 1. Okay. Then next, uh, bring this number 1 minus 1, 0, leave it. Bring this 8 down. 138. Same. Again, 268 is 136. Balance. Okay, bring this on. Here you have to be very careful. Now listen carefully. Bring the next, bring this number 2 down. 22. Okay, 22 lesser than 68. We can't divide. Okay, so if you are bringing down any number, okay, if you bring down any number, that number is also not divisible by the divisor. You have to put one 0 in the quotient. This is the concept. If you brought down any number, that number is not divisible by the divisor. Have to add one zero here. Okay. Understood. Next one. 22. Then and, uh, after adding zero, bring next number also. 226. Okay. 226. So, 368 or 204. Okay. 368 or 204. Then for subtract 6 minus 4. 2 then 2 minus 0 2 2 minus 2 0 leave it okay so next answer is equal to quotient 2203 remainder 22 2303 remainder 22 here is one concept this, this is correct or not this is correct or not how to check this is correct or not in division if you are multiplying this divisor and quotient okay divisor and quotient and add this remainder you will get the dividend you will get dividend with a small number i will explain with one small number see what is that 18 divided by 5 18 divided by 5 see so this is one this is five we can't take two numbers 18 so three fives are 15 balance three three fives are 15 balance three okay what i told multiply divisor and quotient and add the remainder now multiply five threes are 15 plus three you got 18 understood five threes are 15 five threes are 15 plus 3 18 so this answer is correct like that you can do this one also now all the division problems okay next next sum 
One more example from your book. See? Uh, this is two digit number. Div uh, divisor is two digit number. Next, we are going to learn divisor three digit number. Divisor three digit number. That also one trick is there for writing three digit number multiplication. It is it will take some time. Okay, next class, it, if it is possible, I will teach the uh, how to write three digit number multiplication. Here, 29,030 divided by 248. 29,000, okay, and 30 divided by 248. So, write dividend first 29,030 divided by. 248 see here here also i left some spaces then i wrote see i left some 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 spaces i saw some homeworks from you uh, you left more spaces not that much spaces some space little bit spaces enough okay so 248 is the divisor 290 so this is three digit number you have to take three digit number here two digit number take two digit okay before we did one 13 divided by 5 Okay, sorry, 18 divided by 5, that is 5 is single digit number, so you took one digit. Okay, this is three digit number, you have to take three digit here, 248, 290, so 1248 are 248. Okay, 1248 are 248, subtract. Okay, you will get uh, 10 minus 8, 2, and here, uh, 8 will be there, 8 minus 4, 4, 42. Okay, 42 to 48, we can't wait. don't add any zero here. Okay, that is not the, our procedure. If you are bringing down any number, that number is not divisible by the divisor, you can add zero. Okay, next, you have to bring another number, 3, 423. Okay, so maybe this is also 248 because um, 248, 1, 248, next, 1 into 248, 248, subtract. 3, 8. We can't. Okay. Uh, so you have to borrow from left side. Here is 1. Here is 13. 13 minus 8. 5. Okay. 1 minus 4 we can't. So now this is 3. This is 11. 11 minus 4. 11 minus 4. 7. 3 minus 2. 1. 175. We can't divide. Bring this 0 down. Next number. So, 1 by 1 you have to break down, okay, 1750 will come, maybe 7, 7 into 248 is 1736, okay, then if you are subtracting, 14 will be your remainder, so answer is equal to 117, what is this quotient, okay, next remainder, 14, if you are multiplying this 248 into 117 and Adding this 14, you will get this dividend. This is a concept in division. Okay. Uh, next, we will learn some story sums. One or two sums I will explain for you. Story sums. Okay, story sums. Story sums means you should write steps without writing steps. Don't do story sum. Okay, steps is compulsory. compulsive. Oh. From your book, one simple from your book, for a simple example, I will start. Exercise 2.7, eighth question. Mr. Khan earns 97,080 in a year, in a year, so one year, one year he earned 97,080 and what is his monthly earning, one year given, okay, Month, one year how much he is earning, that is given, our question is monthly, one month, one year means 12 month, so 12 month given, maximum numbers given, Asking only one month minimum is asking. Okay, minimum is a question. Already I told minimum number given. Actually, I mean one given. Okay, maximum is the question means you have to multiply. Maximum given one is the question means you have to 
divide so this is the sum we are going to divide so i one more time i will read this question mr khan earns 97080 in a year okay so steps how to write steps this is your okay i will write first first write solution okay from your book exam this is your eighth question eighth question okay eighth question hmm. amount earned per year amount earned per year so per year you can write per year otherwise you simply we can write amount earned earned for 12 month because one year is 12 month okay two methods we can write amount year per year otherwise you can bracket you can write 12 month is equal to 97080 rupees 97080 next amount earned per month how much he is earning per month okay per month so you have to divide 9000 97080 divided by 12 97080 divided by 12 okay this is the way you have to write it see amount earned amount earned in 12 month this year this much amount One month per month means one month. Okay, one month. So you have to divide. So ninety-seven thousand eighty divided by twelve. Divided by twelve. See table. Table twelve is very easy. So eight twelve is ninety-six. Eight twelve is ninety-six. Balance one. Okay, balance one. Next you have to bring next number down. Zero ten. Ten. So less number. If you are bringing down any number, that number is not divisible by the divisor. You have to add one zero in the quotient. Okay, that concept you should not forget. Okay, zero in the quotient. Then bring next down, next number down. One hundred and eight or uh, nine. Nine tolls are one hundred and eight. Balance zero. Okay. Then here is zero. Here is zero. Can we leave? You should not leave. You have to bring all numbers down. bring this zero down zero same procedure if you are bringing down any number that number is not divisible by the divisor you have to add one zero in the quotient okay if it is zero if it is last number or before number if it is middle number whatever it is if you are bringing down any number that number is not divisible by the divisor have to add one zero in the quotient Understood. So now answer uh, is eight thousand ninety is equal to rupees eight thousand ninety. Okay. So at last you got right answer is equal to rupees eight thousand ninety. Put it in the box. Our concept is maximum number given, twelve months given. Okay. Minimum number is the question. Only one month they are asking. So you have to divide. Next question. First question: Sixty-eight people can travel in one bus. Your book page exercise two point seven. First question: Sixty-eight people can travel in one bus. Okay, how many buses will be needed for one thousand nine hundred and four people going on a pilgrimage? Okay, pilgrimage. What is a pilgrimage? Pilgrimage means going some holy places. Okay, if you are going Mecca, Medina. Okay, that is called pilgrimage. Okay. See, first question, exercise two point seven. First question. Okay, steps, solution. Number of buses needed for sixty eight people. Here you no need to mention going for pilgrimage like that. Simply write number of buses needed for sixty-eight people. Okay, how many buses needed? One. One bus is enough for sixty-eight people. Number of buses. Next step. Number of buses needed for how many people? One thousand nine hundred and four people. Okay. How many? So you have to divide one thousand nine hundred and four divided by sixty-eight. 
1904 divided by 68 don't get any confused always subtraction and division one uh, similarity is there subtraction larger number minus smaller number that is correct way, right here also larger number divided by smaller number understood this is possible okay if you are writing 68 minus 1904 that is wrong okay this is one trick you can keep it in your mind okay for your understanding i am telling you sometimes if you are thinking if you are getting any confused you can follow this okay but you have to understand the concept then 1904 divided by 68 right here 1904 by 68 okay so <clears throat> 68 two digit number take two digit here we can't divide because this is very lesser than this number. So take one more number, one thousand. Sorry, uh, one hundred and ninety. Okay, one hundred. Sorry, yeah. Take one more number that is one hundred ninety. Then say table sixty-eight. One sixty-eight is sixty-eight. Two sixty-eights are one hundred thirty-six. Two sixty-eights are one hundred thirty-six. Then subtract uh, ten minus six. 4 here 8 will be there 8 minus 3 5 54 we can't divide bring one more number down okay now 544 maybe 8 868 or 544 balance 0 544 minus 544 0 okay 28 always quotient will be the answer okay if like that what problem hmm? Quotient will be the answer. Don't write any remainder as the answer. Okay. Sometimes remainder also uh, questions will come. I will explain that. 28. So answer is equal to 28 versus 28 versus. This is your answer. Okay. So next question. <coughs> One more question also. Uh, otherwise, we will leave it. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.